Hey loves, thank you for watching. Today, mag-review tayo ng mga art supplies na nabili ko sa online shops. And yung purpose ng video na to is to really see kung worth it ba talaga yung mga art supplies na available sa mga online shops natin. Para mag-guide na rin kayo if in case um, may plano kayo na bumili but at the same time scared kasi hindi nyo alam kung worth it ba talaga yung mga art supplies na nabibili natin online. Today, i-review natin lahat ng mga art supplies na nabili ko sa mga online shops. So, stay tuned. Alright. Well, ang una natin i-reviewin would be itong 3 brushes na nabili ko online. Sizes um, 2, 6, and 8. Yung um, name ng brush would be Art Secret and then what they mentioned on the store, yung details ng product natin would be squirrel hair daw ito or real hair. So yun yung check natin mamaya on, um, i-check natin kung talagang tunay na buhok yung ginamit nila on an application. Alright, first of all, well secured yung mga brushes natin kasi nakalagay sila sa protective enclosed plastic tube. And then para hindi rin masira yung brushes natin um, while on transit which is uh, very good. And um, as you can see, well, well secured din yung mga, yung mga brushes natin kasi meron siyang protective plastic cover. And ang napansin ko rin dito would be medyo malaki yung mga sizes ng brushes nila. Like yung number 2 para na siyang number um, 8 or 6 sa normal brush. Tapos yung number 6 and 8 para na siyang number um, 10 or, or higher um, sizes ng brushes. And as you can see, yung brush natin, um, yung mismong buhok niya, or yung hair ng brush natin is um, hardened by wax or paste para at para um, at least hindi rin uh, protected din yung um, brushes natin while uh, on transit. And then to remove the paste, I just um, soak the brushes sa uh, tubig for like 3, three seconds. Tapos as you can see, um, lumalambot na siya after that. And then right here you'll notice na naghihiwa-hiwalay na yung strands ng um, hair brushes natin, ng hair brush natin. And um, um, I notice as well na medyo ang daming paste na nakalagay dun sa brushes. Which is okay as long as hindi naman affected yung um, performance ng brush natin. And I can really tell from here na talagang um, organic or real hair yung ginamit nila dito. Now, in removing wax or paste dun sa mga brushes natin, kasi di ba usually kapag gawin tayo ng mga brushes, um, hardened talaga yung, um, yung hair niya. So, um, don't force it na mapalambot. Just, um, ibaba nyo lang siya sa tubig for seconds and then i-apply nyo lang siya against the tissue paper para lumambot. Don't force it kasi ba maya baka masira yung, um, yung strands or yung bristles ng brush natin. So, initial review natin sa brush would be it, it holds a lot of water. Um, maganda siyang gamitin um, sa watercolor medium. And I, and I think hindi rin to pwedeng gamitin sa mga acrylic kasi di ba usually kapag ang ginagamit natin kapag watercolor would be yung mga at least soft yung, yung hair. And um, if you're going to use this sa uh, ibang type of paint, masisira yung um, hair niya. By the way guys, yung brushes na to, I ordered it online, pero overseas yung um, seller niya. So it took like maybe two weeks na dumating siya dito sa, sa Philippines. So right here, I'm showing na meron ng mga hair na nalagas. But I think, um, nung paghihipuin mo naman or when you touch the bristles, intact naman siya. Um, understandable na meron mga malalagas na isa, dalawang buho kasi fresh from the factory yung brush natin. But I hope na um, kapag gagamitin na siya, natin siya, wala na siyang malalagas. So, eto na yung three brushes natin. Um, as you can see, it holds a lot of water and very, very, very soft yung hair niya. Ayan. When you squeeze it, mapifeel mo talaga siya na totoong buhok yung ginamit nila. And I hope kung totoong buhok talaga to ng squirrel, sana dun nila kinuha to sa mga patay na squirrel. So okay na okay yung um, art supply na to ng art secret. Okay, next natin i-review would be itong um, 12 pieces set ng flat brushes na nabili ko rin online. Um, wala siyang brand name, pero yung naka-engrave sa mga brushes would be Magnate. So I think yun yung brand name niya. 
Um, nylon yung hair niya, and this is the size 12. Yung size range natin is from 12 to 1. And when you open the package, medyo ma overwhelm ka sa dami ng brushes um, na makukuha mo. And um, umorder ako ng flat brushes kasi marami ako napanood online na very useful yung mga flat brushes whenever you are painting um, landscape, mga wash effects. Very useful din yung flat brushes natin um, whenever you wanted to have like a blending effect sa mga colors and when you wanted to soften yung edges kapag nagpipin kayo using watercolor. Alright, on to the next product. Um, another brush that I bought online. Um, 12 pieces in a set din siya and then inside the packaging you'll get a lot of different brushes. We have round brushes, flat brushes, and then meron din sila nung uh, a fan type of brush. Well secured yung mga brushes natin inside the packaging kasi meron din siyang plastic cover to support yung um, bristles or yung strands ng mga brushes natin. I don't know why pero yung may mga plastic cover lang would be yung mga round brushes natin. Yung handle niya would be plastic pero um, maganda siyang hawakan. Pero yung parang type of plastic nung handle natin is parang matte. Well actually masarap siyang hawakan. Mukha siyang para siyang mamahaling brush na hindi mumurahin yung pakiramdam. Hindi mo mafe-feel na parang cheap plastic na brittle yung mararamdaman mo. Kaya I think napakasulat nitong brushes na nabili ko. For 173 pesos only, I got parang 12 pieces of brushes and okay na okay kapag hinipo mo yung mga brushes na or yung bristles niya. Malambot din and I think I'll be using these brushes in um, painting, detailed painting. Napakasulit niya kasi diba, for 173 pesos only, you'll get 12 pieces of brushes na maganda yung quality. So, panalong panalo na kayo doon. And guys, hindi pa pala kasama sa 173 yung delivery fee. Which is usually nag-range lang sa 40 pesos to 50 pesos. Lastly, yung review naman natin would be itong watercolor metallic paint sets. 12 um, paint siya for 299 pesos. Actually, wala siyang brand name. Wala din siyang info, details whatsoever. And wala din siyang um, color name for reference, pero nakalagay siya sa plastic acrylic. So, I activated the sets natin. And as you can see, um, ang bilis siyang ma-activate. Parang biglang naging creamy na soft yung consistency ng colors natin. Ayan. Ngayon, ito try natin yung metallic painting natin gamit yung mga nareview natin um, brush set. First would be itong Art Secret size um, 2. So for this one, as mentioned, it holds a lot of water. Tingnan natin um, on an actual application. Since guys, walang color name yung um, palette natin, I'll try to name them, them based on their appearance. Yung silver natin, medyo hindi siya halata sa white paper. I think magsho-show up siya better sa mga colored or toned paper like yung mga black paper. And then for the gold and yung brown or copper, wala siyang pigment. Hindi siya pigmented. So kung nag expect kayo ng pigment uh, from this watercolor set, you'll get almost um, zero pigment. Since um, very konte yung pigment niya, nag I think nagkakaroon lang siya ng kulay because of the glitters na nakahalo dun sa mismong um, paint color natin. Sorry loves, hindi ko napansin na out of frame na pala ako. I think much better kung gamitin natin brush would be yung synthetic brush rather than this one kasi this paint brush holds a lot of water and kapag inapply mo, very watery yung nagkinakalabasan niya sa paper and almost parang hindi dumidikit or parang hindi mo hindi na-absorb ng paper yung yung color kasi nga very watery yung consistency niya
Ngayon, ang gagamitin ko naman brush would be yung flat brush ng Swan Can um, paint brush. Ayan. Right here, manonotice mo na okay na yung consistency niya. Kasi yung brush nga natin is now a synthetic brush. Kasi hindi, di ba yung mga synthetic brushes, hindi siya masyadong nag-hold ng um, tubig sa, sa bristles niya. So, right here, makikita mo na okay na yung consistency ng paint natin. And makikita mo na parang... Um, mas concentrated yung color natin using this paintbrush. Okay, next natin ito try would be itong fan type brush ng Swan Can um, brushes. Usually nakikita ko yung mga artist na gumagamit ng ganitong type of brush, brush kapag nagpipaint sila ng mga bushes, mga wash effects, clouds, ayan, o kaya may mga gradient effect. Now, going back to this watercolor set, in terms of blending, um, nagbi-blend naman siya. Okay yung blending niya, um, very complementing yung mga color. And as you can see, hindi ka na, kapag nag-blend ka, hindi mo makukuha, hindi ka makakuha, makakakuha ng um, muddy effect. Tapos makikita mo pa rin on your application yung individual um, color or metallic color na pinaghalo mo. I think this watercolor set will be useful for me kapag magpipaint ako ng water. Kung gusto kong magkaroon ng shining effects yung water o kaya sky, definitely I'll use this watercolor set. Pero itong metallic watercolor na to, hindi mo siya pwedeng gamitin as primary color, more on pang glazing lang siya. Next nating ito try itong size 3 brush ng na flat brush ng magnet. I'll try to blend the watercolor using this brush. And as you can see, good pa rin naman yung blending niya. Ayan. Ayos na ayos gamitin tong um, paint brush na to kapag magpe-paint ka ng mga landscape o kaya clouds o kaya rain effect. Okay na okay gamitin tong uh, flat brush ng magnet na na-order natin online. Later on, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung um, consistency o yung kinalabasan ng watercolor na to kapag natuyo na siya. But right now, since wet pa siya, ayan. So this is the Art Secret 3 brushes, sizes 2, 6, and 8. Ayan. Very soft yung um, strands niya ng hair. And parang artist na artist yung dating mo kapag ganitong um, paintbrush yung gamit mo. Next one would be yung Swan Can Paintbrushes. Napakasulit nito kasi okay na okay siyang pang, pang color, pang blending. I think magiging uh, magagamit ko siya as primary paintbrush. Highly recommended siya especially for beginners. Andito na lahat ng type of brushes na kailangan mo para makapag-practice ka ng painting. Now, if you have extra money, you can still buy ito mga flat brushes na ganito. Kasi maganda siyang gamitin sa pagpipaint ng mga landscape. Pero I think ma-achieve mo pa rin naman yung mga ganong effect using other um, watercolor brushes. Lastly, itong nameless metallic watercolor palette set natin. Actually, na-surprise ako sa performance na kasi okay na okay siya. Although wala siyang pigment, but I think yung mga metallic watercolor natin, they're supposed to have not so much pigment kasi pang glazing lang siya and kapag natuyo siya ayan in, um, kapag kinuskus mo siya hindi ka naman makakakuha ng, ng hindi mo mafe-fill up yung glitters niya so talagang dumikit siya dun sa papel natin meron ka makukuha pero onti-onti lang na hindi naman ganun karami ayan so okay na okay siya talaga so guys I don't recommend naman na bilhin nyo lahat itong mga um, art supplies na tinaray ko. Sana naka-help sa inyo kung nagbabala kayong bumili ng mga paint brushes o kaya metallic um, watercolor. Sana nakakuha kayo ng mga ideas. Kung worth it ba talaga yung mga art supplies na to available online. Wala po akong online shop. Ginawa ko lang po itong review na to para makatulong kung hesitant kayong bumili ng mga art supplies online. But if you wanna know where I bought these art supplies, i-comment nyo na lang po below. And then I'll respond to you on the comment section. Now here are some sample painting na ginawa ko using yung mga art supplies na review, na review natin ngayon. 
Sana nakatulong sa inyo itong review ko and please subscribe. Thank you for watching.